Yeah, the division is um, a division that looks after kind of three main functions. One is the research function within IOM globally, so we're the kind of the lead and the focal point on migration research. We also look after all of IOM's publications, and especially those that are published on the IOM bookstore, the online bookstore, and we also look after the library. We uh, provide technical assistance and support to our field missions who undertake research, empirical research quite often in the field. We look after kind of reviews and endorsements of project proposals and concept notes and so forth. And we also undertake uh, desk-based research ourselves. Yeah, look, the, the approach is really tailored to our circumstances and tailored to the needs of our readers, our readership, um, and especially our member states, of course. So we really try and focus on very high quality and balanced uh, research and analysis. We're really very interested in working with long-term relationships, whether that's donors, beneficiary member states or with migration researchers externally and of course internally too. We obviously have long-term relationships internally and that means that we try and play to the strengths of, of all partners that are involved. And finally we need to be very astute and very um, I guess uh, solutions oriented in terms of skillful kind of resourcing. We have an approach which is uh, low cost, high impact, because we have constraints in terms of resources, but we also have very high expectations. The World Migration Report, I mean, it was, it was instituted, it came about in the year 2000, so we're coming up to the 20th anniversary of the World Migration Report. The next one will be the World Migration Report 2020. And it's the only truly sort of global migration report which looks at trends, it looks at patterns of migration, it looks at uh, processes and how uh, member states, how um, migrants themselves, as well as the increasing number of uh, actors involved in migration processes, uh, are able to support migration uh, in a positive way and try and deal with the challenges that migration does present. I've used the 2018 World Migration Report in several ways in my work. Firstly, I've used it as a wonderful teaching tool. So I recently taught um, a new course called Migration and Human Rights at the Harvard Kennedy School. It's a graduate level course for a broad range of different students from the government department or policy, but also from the law school and from the School of Public Health and a range of different um, disciplinary backgrounds. And I found that several of the chapters were just perfect as introductory overview pieces for introducing the students to a topic such as, for example, the rate of migration in different parts of the world, who's going in, who's going out, or some of the questions, some of the other questions about ethics and so on. Um, and also, I think some of the graphics are really useful. They're very clear, they're concise, they're accessible, they're eminently PowerPointable. So um, I would say that's one really big use and I think I'm going to carry on doing that. It's a really a, a great resource. The Migration Research at Lunchtime seminar series was initially designed uh, just after I first started to really support IOM's kind of approach in regards to critical thinking and inquiry. So we set up this series at lunchtime really just for IOM staff so they could hear the latest research and analysis, have researchers in to present their findings in, from various parts of the world and really engage in a discussion. Uh, we then started to record them so that our field officers could actually access them as podcasts, video podcasts, and then we made them available because people were very interested in hearing the latest research and analysis. We made them available on our website as well. Uh, the main responsibility, I would say, is the World Migration Reports, where I assist uh, editors for each edition. And I'm also uh, responsible for drafting and coordinating with the external authors that we have. And otherwise, I'm here to manage our research projects and to liaise with different universities as well as academic and applied researchers. My role, main role, is to provide technical support for field colleagues and internally here at headquarters.
doctor uh, to prepare and implement and finalize research projects that involves um, supporting their conceptualization phase, project proposal write-up, that involves questions regarding research method and ethics and who to work with in terms of collaboration with academic institution. As a head of publications, my, my role is to coordinate and provide support and advice to IAM headquarters departments as well as field missions, regional offices and administrative centers on publication related issues. We provide different services, editing, layout and review um, and all of them, all the publications, even if they're not done through pub, should come through pub for approval and make sure that they comply with the style manual and spelling and I am running guidelines. My work in the research division has largely uh, focused on the World Migration Report. I worked on the World Migration Report 2018 and I'm also part of the team working on the World Migration Report 2020, mostly focusing on chapter three of the report, which largely consists of uh, st stats on key regional migration dynamics. I am also coordinating the media strategy uh, for the report, and that includes working very closely with our colleagues in media. I am responsible for the library, which is more or less tasked with helping people with their project development, with the daily work by providing literature or doing literature research for them, putting resources at their disposition which they cannot find free of charge on the internet. Um, and so I'm basically doing everything, literature research, acquisition, cataloging, trying to get electronic resources, organizing things, developing tools for retrieving the information and generally trying to make IOM happy. So my responsibilities uh, have to do with a, f a lot of fact checking and data checking. We're almost done with the World Migration Report and we need to make sure that all the numbers, all the figures, all the charts are 100% accurate and precise um, and in line with other documents from around the world. Uh, academics, researchers all over the world depend upon uh, good data uh, reported by, the, by IOM and so we're making sure that everything we have is correct. Uh, the scope of my work here at IOM is mostly research-based, so uh, I work on desk-based research as well as in uh, producing materials for research management here at IOM. Um, most of my work involves uh, either literature reviews or production of uh, research management materials. My work here at IOM focuses on supporting my colleagues in organizing uh, research and global migration events and that includes uh, interviewing researchers, media specialists, and global migration specialists. And with the information from those interviews, I produce media and social media material that is designed to reach uh, both internal and external audiences. We know that um, our kind of limited resources and, and our focus and priority needs to be on the World Migration Report 2020, which we're working on now to finalise for the end of the year and for its release. So that's our real priority. But at the same time, we're constantly um, supporting the field in their endeavours around uh, migration research, uh, providing technical assistance, providing uh, research guidance, note, guidance notes, and also the seminar series, as well as other outputs such as the migration research series. There is a keen interest among the local stakeholders to use evidence in programming as well as policy making in the field. Uh, therefore, the publications that are produced by this division are useful references for IOM, IOMers. Um, apart from that, um, the guidance that we receive from the division on research methodology, um, experts and reviewers are also quite useful in implementing projects. Some of the projects where uh, there is a significant amount of research being done. Um, if we require guidance, research division is one of the places we definitely come back to to ask for inputs on research methodology, uh, experts, and before we publish something, also to see if we can identify suitable reviewers.